Here we have the application backend running on the local machine and so I've just browsed to localhost port 3000 and I'm being given the IP address that I need to add to the MongoDB Atlas uh, whitelist. So just click on the link, go to the security tab and then the IP whitelist and then simply add this address in there. Give it a name if you like, that's, that's perfectly optional. And now just wait for a few seconds while that's applied. Now we go back to the clusters tab, choose our cluster, click on connect, and from within there, we can scroll down and copy the connect string or the URI. Go back to our application and then we paste that right in there and give the password that we use when we created our account. Change the database name to production and now we're ready to start. First of all let's change the collection name and we'll just use people as a collection name. Let's add say 30,000 documents. Then a few seconds later we should get a message, whether it be an error or, or success. Okay, so we've added the 30,000 documents. Let's count the documents to make sure, and that agrees that there's 30,000. Now we run a query on there to have, get a sample to see what kind of documents are in there. And we scroll down and we can see a typical document here. So let's take the gender attribute and then we'll use that attribute for the actual pattern that we're going to use for the bulk update. So the gender and the value of male. And then we have to put the actual bulk change we want to apply to all of the matching documents. So it's preset here to uh, have a Mongo pop com comment. So let's just change the text for that and put that uh, this is a man. And then the second attribute that's going to be changed is just a counter and that's going to be automated. So let's say we want to apply this three times to every matching documents. We've updated over 44,000 documents. And if we resample the documents, we can see that that uh, attribute has been set and the counter has been increased three times.